<laughs> and so this is great. It's the same weapon, just turned down. Okay? Here it is in Pittsburgh. We are using it on our own people. It was not on, they said, but I don't know. It was one of the healthcare debates. I think some of those people hear voices anyway. So we are using this not only our enemies. Anybody been to Pittsburgh? Sometimes, yeah. So these are from the healthcare debates. Same weapon, same thing, only being used on you all. Okay. Thank you for this great picture, federal government. This is great. 18.98 hertz. Your eyeball vibrates. Remember? It's a fluid-filled sack. I mean, we can make anything vibrate if we want the right frequency. So when you're, okay, I know there are people who's going to do this. You're going to create these psychosonic tracks and you're going to make your eyeballs vibrate. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying it works and it's sort of fun when it tingles the back of your eyes, but I take no responsibility for any damage you do to yourselves or your eyeballs. <laughs> you get these ghost images. They are so, all disclaimers, everybody heard the disclaimer. <laughs> Who saw, who saw, um, what was the film? Men Who Stare at Goats. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Do you know that's true? Fighting in the Vietnam era was a little different than what you do now. So, and this is actually part of the same campaign they had. So they play wandering souls. Recordings represent dead people to spook superstitious enemy. Yeah, we knew who we were talking about back then. And this really works. This really works. What are those scary sounds coming out at night? Oh, don't come out of your tunnel. This is great stuff. Problems. No, not Neil Diamond is not the problem. <laughs> well, I take it back. Do you know you can weaponize Neil Diamond if you want? Send it to your mom. So, oh, he's such a good person. So when they got the Jitmo, they were playing this for him. Well, those of you that know the culture, they're not really big music fans and stuff, and they basically had a riot. And the PSYOPs people said, oh yeah, play Coming to America. Well, they kept doing it. 20 days of Eminem and Dr. Dre. Hell, I'd lie for anything. Tell, ask me any question. Get that off my... Yo, yo, I'm a rapper from down south. I don't know nothing, but I sound real... Yeah, that's my rap. <laughs> Here are the top 10 torture songs. <laughs> Now, I knew some of these, but take a look at them. Eminem, I knew that. The Barney theme, oh God, 20, 30 hours of the Barney theme. Oh, uh, Metallica, oh yeah, ACDC. Notice how a bunch of these are old things. I, of course, I wouldn't know. Uh, Christina Aguilera, all of these. I like Rage Against the Machine. I didn't know Bodies by Drowning Pool. Any other Drowning Pool people? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I've come to realize I was too old to know them, and when I looked them up, it's like, yeah! They are joining my torture club, so... <laughs> Please feel free to torture anybody with sound you want. We are using psychosonic attack vectors against our children. Hey, why not? We use them against old people for healthcare. It's called the mosquito speaker. Most of you probably... Anybody own a mosquito? Yeah, I see a couple of people. Does it work? Yeah, a couple of people shaking their heads. Basically what it does, 17 hertz, as you get older, here's a surprise, things don't work as well. <laughs> like your ears. So you don't hear these frequencies as an adult. And if you go into, on the disc, there's uh, areas and it's got websites where you can go in, get your hearing checked and hear the different frequencies, things like this. So 17 hertz disperses, I love the term from their, their article, troublesome teenagers. Not good Christian or good upstanding teenagers, only troubled like all of you hackers in here. <laughs> eight hertz takes everybody out. Let's just crank it up to eight hertz and blow it away. So one of my friends has one of these. She lives near the high school. I said, I said, Rox, can I, can I use this? She's like, you're crazy, man. I don't want him around here. So look for this little speaker near convenience stores, high schools, buildings just outside or around high schools. This is where they have them. And they really are functional. Now, I put one here, but they're several hundred dollars. So they wouldn't give me any. I guess I wasn't trustworthy looking. 
So we are using psychosonic attacks against our children, and they are using them against us. These are mosquito ringtones. Mosquito plus cell phone, a ringtone teachers and parents can hear. <laughs> well, you don't want to leave it on vibrate because it rattles against your book or your desk or something like that. And everybody, then they all get together and have them split the frequencies up. How do you know your children aren't using these? Yeah, because she can hear it. She's young enough. I can't. So I'd be a, I always use them with old teachers, I guess. So does Vegas use psychosonics? Those of you that were at, uh, saw me over at Caesar, sometimes I walk around with my netbook and a microphone. And I'm trying to figure out, are the machines set for psychosonic frequencies to excite you? You know, there's all sorts of, they pump oxygen in, there's no blues, it's all reds and bright colors, there's no clocks out there, there's no clocks. They want to brainwash you subliminally into staying and gambling. You don't know what time it is, hell, I was like, what time is it, breakfast? Okay. So they do some of these, and especially with the slot machines, it's called the devil's triad, like a like uh, Mozart would never, or Bach would never end the thing on that because it was the devil's tones. And so uh, it's the sound sirens make, the European sirens. Do, 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 do. I'm a terrible singer, you know the one. So, uh, and I've been recording some of those, trying to pull those apart for later to see if we really do. So if it shows up, uh, anything good shows up, I'll show you how to, uh, I'll put it up on the DC board. Uh, and just a real quick pause, it has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'd like to thank the DEF CON uh, 406 group from Helena, from Montana. Yeah, we have a DC group in Montana. Thanks for coming out and supporting us, everybody in Montana. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I know it's weird, but we actually have one up there. Uh, slot machines. OK. Now, the picture on the right is what she used to look like. The other one is what you know she looks like. So I, I think she's got a weapons supplier somewhere. So I did more digging on this young lady. So she is an Illuminati puppet run by the master mind controllers. <laughs> what a better person to give more weapons to. I mean, her and Michael Jackson. And, and you can see the little like Illuminati triangle with the eyeballs and stuff. And, like, I love her marketers. They are some of the smartest marketing people I've bumped into. I mean, she's great. So doesn't she need more weapons? Of course she does. Let's talk about how we make these psychosonic files, and then we'll get into the demos and things like that. Perfect timing. Your frequency determines your mood. I just gave you the frequency. That's pretty easy. You embed them into an MP3 and you can play them through your headphones. The binaurals work the best, but the isosynchronous and the monaurals also function. All right? I'm using, here's the frequencies. I want to make sure everybody grasps where we're going with all of these. Um, I tend to use, if you use the like four hertz or lower, you like fall asleep or worse, and you're like, Ugh. Okay, so try and stay away from those. Yeah, yeah, these really are, these are pretty much fun. So, Gnarl, it's been, okay, I had my first copy on a floppy disk. That's how old it is. And I'm going to be demoing, showing, it's really a great play. Brain Pro, uh, Brainstem Pro by Norl is out there. It's a good one. Audacity and Lame is not what it is. You all know it's like for runs in the other stuff. And um, it's, there's a couple binaural albums out there. So just go to music and search binaural. Um, I'm going to be using Gnarl and Audacity because Gnarl lets you create the actual psychosonic like stream and then Audacity lets me inject it. Now these two usually aren't put together, it's not quite, one's for pillaging files off, Audacity, you just plug it both in, record the Pandora, whatever you want, Soma, I really like Audacity. Um, and uh, Gnarl is the same way, both free, free. I love that phrase. Here's Gnarl, and when I'm done with a stupid PowerPoint, I'll pull up the programs themselves. I'll show you what they look like. And uh, basically, what I want you to notice is the little upbeats every so often. Now, the really 
The long ones, the one you pay for, run about 30 minutes. I tend to only object them about three or four minutes, take a space, three or four minutes, and take a space, because that's how MP3s are. You know, just regular pop sounds. Um, and then they drop off. So notice you started at a higher frequency on the uh, left-hand side, and then it drops down, and then you bring yourself up with a little frequency and drop yourself back down and just keep going. This keeps you from falling asleep or doing, you know, seeing demons in your head or something, I guess. And then you trail off on the bottom. There's ones up on the top where I can actually, uh, not close enough, oops. No, I don't see it. Uh, I have adjusters on the, on the left side, and I can connect balance, and then uh, on the other side, I can change basically the whole 3D imaging. How many people have listened to those 3D imaging binaural with a barber and a bunch of people cutting their hair around you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was interesting. It's like getting a haircut. You can hear scissors all around you. And they make binaural recording, like two microphones out of your ear, all the standard stuff. So it's a pretty comfortable program to use. Here's Audacity, and this is actually the, the psychosonic stream on the top, and on the bottom is the song. Okay? So this is what they look like. So it's really, I'm finding it difficult to separate out the psychosonic sub, we're using filters, from the actual style, uh, the actual song. So, but that's why I'm doing like machines and stuff. So then you just put them both together, and that's really the easy part. Let's talk about psychosonic drugs. Uh, months ago, when I sent this in, I'm like, what psychosonics? It's been in Wired Magazine. It's been on CNN. It's like the hottest, don't let your kids do these type of drug thing. It's like, OK. Um, I've actually uh, included one of the commercial ones on here, too. Uh, they gave me permission to give every, I said, well, I'm, I'm speaking at a security conference, and, and they're interested. I said, I didn't say I was speaking, giving this to hackers so we can have fun with it, but yeah. <laughs> hey, what they don't need to know and stuff. Uh, why are CNN the new drug damaging our children and stuff? So uh, let me pull up a real quick. Let's play. Hi, audio guy. I'm going to start some uh, tunes, so I don't want you to blow everybody away here. Uh, let's see, unmute it. I find if I unmute it plays better. And it would be, I are technically suave. And I scraped this off, not the best scrape in the world, but you know, what do you want for a free scrape? Play, media play. Yeah, I know it's Windows. <laughs> Play. I love my netbooks, but sometimes I hurt them. <laughs> this is my second one. Play. Okay, I'm going to minimize him, I think. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Is it Miller time yet? Oh, let's see. Oh, there he is. Making me happy. Taking a stand against the latest internet craze. Have you ever heard of this? It's called iDosing. And websites are luring kids with free downloads of so-called digital drugs, which are audio files designed to induce drug-like effects. Adriana Ivashinsky has just returned from Mustang Live with the details on this alarming new trend. I've got to admit it, I've never heard of it before. Kelly yeah, Pan's really need to listen up on this one. That's because all kids need to experience these digital drugs are headphones, their computer, and an MP3 player. Wow. One of the websites that tap them say they're a safe and legal way to get high. The theory is it could lead to illegal drug use. Oh, no! <laughs> Digital drugs are all over the internet, touting a free, legal, safe way to get high. Oh my god. And images of teenagers trying it are all over YouTube. It's these images that has a lot of parents, educators, and law enforcement officials with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics concerned. Kids will flock to these sites just to see what it's about, and it, it can lead them other places. 
It sounds like this. Binaural. And uses binaural or two.